Guys, we are live and welcome to another video. Coming live, even though most of you guys are going to be watching it back as a live stream. So as usual, we got we got the old iPad up on here, so I can get some of you guys' comments. We got this JLB cheetah here. It's a Banggood special. They're stupidly fast, completely overpowered, completely unnecessary, but fun. And um, I've done an unboxing and a review video of it, and it didn't even make it out of the shop. I broke it in there. So um, it's actually lost drive to the back. Look at that. There's no drive there at all. It's like nothing. Look. Let's get the comments up on here. Who we got in the house? Oh, we got Claire in the house. We got Ian in the house. We got Jay Cheeseman in the house. Mr. Bashbar. Who else we got in the house? Ian in the house. Yeah, so look, we got the drive shaft. They're in. We got diff cups. They're all good. And there's just no drive at all. Like nothing. Nothing at all. Like even if you do both at the same time, look. Nothing there at all. So, we need to figure out why. I've already taken this cover off of here and I can't see anything wrong here. So the problem is gonna be inside the diff. I'm hoping it's gonna be just a pin that snapped. We can put a new pin in there, back in action. But I don't know, what do you reckon guys? Give me a note in the comments. What do you guys reckon is wrong with it? With it? Maybe shredded spider gears, maybe. Randy, maybe. <laughs> Ian said, killed that then. Yep, killed it. We've got NTL vlogs in the house. How are you doing? Emily in the house. How are you doing, Emily? Let's get that there. And let's get this thing tore down. Have a look what's going on. I think we're going to take the wheels off just to make it a little bit easier to work on. Kev, do you do Rasta 4 before parts? I do not sell RC parts anymore. I used to. Not anymore. Because I shared my eBay shop and then people started copying all the same parts. So I've got away from RC now and I sell just sort of random stuff. Evan Cooling. Cooling, whatever you say it. Sorry, dude. It says it's the first live stream it's joined. Welcome, dude. Elaine says, wait, no, till I've cracked it open. Yes, you're right. I'm guessing it's a pin. Normally, if it's diff gears, it would make it like a grouchy noise, but there's like literally nothing there. Look, it's like nothing. I'm guessing there's probably going to be a pin on the end of that and it snapped off. This side's got a little bit of something, but this side's here, nothing. I was going to do this live stream actually, actually the other day, but... The internet wasn't playing ball. Every time I tried doing the live stream, it was cutting out. How is it in your country? Good. Uh, it was summer, and now it's winter again. But yeah, it's all right. All right. What's the best way to get into this diff? So we need to get rid of this wheelie bar. To get in at these, you've got to take quite a lot off. Because, look, there's a screw there to get into the diff cover. So I think we need to strip, like, everything off. To get the wheelie bar off, you've got to get... The shock towel off. Oh, gold. So much has got to come off. Kev, are you going to get the Stampede 4x4 VXL? Maybe, dude. If enough people ask me for it, I will. Spring here in Sweden. Yeah, it is spring here. Well, I think everywhere in the old northern hem hemisphere is spring. But it's been kind of like cereal weather. Trying to find the cereal you had. Ah, that stuff. You got. To, I think you got to order it online. Go to magicspoon.com and you can order it on there. If you go to my video where I promoted it, you can get a discount. Epic cereal that is. Really, really enjoy it. Stein says he enjoyed the shop tour. Hey, nice one, dude. Go forth in the house! Can I buy one of your ZD Racing trucks? I don't sell any of my RCs, dude. I either keep them for myself or I'll give them away to friends and stuff. I'm good, Emily. Thanks. How are you? 
accessory not supported. It says on my iPad. What accessory? No, no accessory on it. In Wales, it's raining, says Dominic. It's always raining in Wales. People say it always rains here, but it rains a lot more in Wales. <laughs> Greetings from Texas, it's Lights by Design. Hello, dude. It's beautiful in Washington, says Henry. Bye from Scotland. So what have you guys been up to today? Let me know what you've been up to. So when I'm taking RCs apart, people say, how do I remember where the screws go? Well, look, in there, I'll put the screws back where they come out of. And then once the wheelie bar's off, I'm gonna do the same with that. So I've got the screws there for that, wheelie bar be next to it. The screws in these are not really that strong, so I don't like getting the other bag on there because it'll round them off. Richard's been bashing, nice. Driving a tugboat, working, fixing car, playing GTA 5. That's the life. That's the life of luxury, eh? <laughs> More SCX24, please, yes. Dan's bearded RC Adventures in the house, how you doing, dude? Selling HBR Savage Monster Truck, hardly use it anymore. I've still got my Savage up there. I'm not going to sell it though, I want to keep it. I think I might get the new one. Packing to move, says Matthew. Ooh, sounds like a lot of work. When's the Armour Granite video coming out? Ooh, maybe a week, I don't know. I've got it edited, it's all uploaded. I've got 14 videos in stock now. So if I upload sort of three or four videos a week, I've got a, a month's worth of stock. And the idea of that is, is when the monster truck comes, I can give most of my attention to building that and still get videos out with the RCs. Rampant's been welding and fabricating an eight meter beam. Ooh, sounds industrial. Right, wheelie bars off. So we go, we keep that with those screws so we know that those screws go into that. Uh, this cover, I've already taken it off, and the screws I'll put back in there so we know. And next, can we get in at the diff? I'm not sure how much you've still got to take off. Definitely got to take these screws out. Kev, what's in the last box you showed us yesterday? Oh, uh, secret. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kind of a secret, not really. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a quick glimpse. You ready? Are you ready? It kind of is a secret because I unboxed it in the video and you've got to kind of wait for the video. But you ready? 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 There we go. <laughs> there we go. You have to wind it back and see if you can pause it. Who can guess what it is? Comment down below. Who can guess what it is? Too quick. All right, well, guess, do a little bit of guessing, and then I might do it again a bit slower. <laughs> no, it's not monster truck parts. None of those have been shipped yet. I've paid for them all, but uh, they've still got to wait for the crank and the supercharger, so, um, and I think a couple of bearings for the axles. New Lambo. <laughs> I wish. Lossy laser nut. Nope, I've already got a lossy laser nut. I've already showed that one. XO1. Nope. Tim Hearn says, congrats on a million subs. Thanks, dude. By the way, if any, any of you guys that are only subscribed to this channel, my main channel is just Kevin Talbot. And uh, we just got a, a million subbies on that one. So any of you guys that are not on that channel, go and check it out. Is there anyone? Let me know in the comments. Is there anyone that is only subscribed to this channel, but not my main channel? And is there anyone that's never heard of my main channel? I'd be interested to know. I always kind of think that everyone on this channel is the same people as on the other one, but it might be different people, will not it? New engine for Raminator. No, nope, not yet. More text. No, nope, not yet. Haircut. No. <laughs> uh, right, you guys that are experts in cheaters. Armour Voltage. Nope. Who is Kevin Talbot? I have no idea who that idiot is. He's a man child. Uh, anybody knows how you get this diff cover off? Let me know. Do I have to take off this whole skid plate, plate assembly and everything. I think we are going to have to. Yeah, I think that's going to have to come off. Quite a lot's got to come off of this. 
Hi, right, sub to both channels. Oh no, bottom bolts. Oh, bottom bolts. Are you getting bugs to brushless? Not any plan at the moment, but never say never. They're more of a budget brand. Uh, we will do the budget brand if a lot of you guys ask for them. But otherwise, I'd rather stick to the more sort of more higher end stuff like the X Maxes. Claire said, you sound like a knob to me, whoever he is. Ha <laughs> ha, you knobbit. You knobbit. What, no gloves? <laughs> oh, I will put gloves on in a minute, when we, once we get to the greasy bit. I have actually got to keep my skin nice at the moment because I'm doing a sponsorship for a skincare company and I'm testing it at the moment for a week to see if it does anything before I want to recommend it. And so far, it's feeling really nice. Do you have to take this whole diff off or what? Wasn't he the inventor of Talbot Sunbeam? <laughs> yeah, maybe. You need to open five screws, but I've got to take all these out here. Yeah. Alright. When are you going to do a video on the 3D printer? Um, have to be soon. Don't know when though. Any plans to get Armour Vortex? Uh, yeah, I've ordered it. <laughs> alright, so that's off. Oh, alright. Right, 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 right. I think we're in. No. Uh... Oh, why is it? Why is this bit not going to come off? In your opinion, what is the most easy RC to work on? X Max. In my opinion, really easy to work on that one. Right. Uh, if I crack this off, it's going to be. Right. No, I'm good. Right. Poke the tire with a screwdriver and I'll subscribe. <laughs> there you go. Happy? Now subscribe. <laughs> New video on Overgear. Uh, there will be at some point, but I'm not a gamer, guys. I'm not really a gamer. I mean, never say never. I mean, I will do some videos on that at some point, but it's more of a lockdown sort of thing, and... Here in the UK, when it's lockdown, we're allowed to go out and work. So, it wasn't really any lockdown for me. <laughs> so we carried on as normal making videos. But if, if it ever goes to a point where you're not allowed to go out and work, then I'll, um, I'll do some overgear videos. Use more force, yes. Do you have a girlfriend? No, I do not. At the moment, everything is going so good being single. I'm reaching plans and goals and dreams. Stuff that I never imagined would be possible only a few years ago. And while I'm on a roll, I want to keep on a roll. You know, if I start getting all loved up and all that, and under the farm, it might all come to a grinding halt. So I'm not going to risk it. If you're happy, don't change. Right, so we can look in there, look. Diff gears look perfect. They look actually quite chunky in there, look at that. They look really well made. But something obviously isn't well made, otherwise it wouldn't have stripped. I think it's the pin for that diff cup. Oh, there we go, it's coming off now. Ooh. Right, now it's glove time. Do you have any team associated cars? No, I don't. Starlink internet, 90 pound a month. What's that all about? Faster internet? I can't get faster here. 
there's no fiber optic. The only internet we get here is through the phone line. And I'll get 12 gigabyte upload, a uh, download, and half a gigabyte upload. So that is why these live streams are crappy quality. Jay go in, see you later, dude. Are you getting HBI Savage Flux XL? I'm really tempted with it. What do you guys reckon? I do want to get another new HBI. I've not had a, I've not had a new HBI for years. Centon or Slash? Centon, I would say, is better value, but the Slash is higher quality. And on the Slash, well, if you get the Ultimate, you still need better shafts. But... No, I'm really impressed with the armour. I've got both, and recently I've got a brand new Slash 4x4 and a brand new Centurn, and I definitely do prefer the Slash, but the Slash is a lot more expensive, so it depends. If you want the best, get the Slash. If you want best value, get the armour. But they're both cool. You're not going to be disappointed with any of them. They're both epic. Ah, uh, oh! Oh, uh, there's our problem, look. It snapped off, so we can't fix it. So what we're gonna have to do, guys, is get a new one ordered, and then we're gonna fix that in a different video. That was a short live stream, wasn't it? I haven't really got many spares for it, so we can't fix it. Oh, oh, what? Callum in the house, how you doing? Starlink is satellite internet. Oh, okay. Well, the thing is, dude, I'm moving out of here soon. As soon as a, a suitable property comes up, I'm out of here. So um, there's no point in me setting all that up if I'm going to move. But yeah, it sounds good. Satellite internet does sound good. I need something. All right. Let's get this kind of back together so that we know where all the parts go. Outcast ATS or Creighton ATS? I prefer the Outcast, no, the Creighton, sorry, because it's on the wheelbase. You can hoon it about better, but they're both cool. When are the monster truck parts coming? Soon! Very soon. They're not shipped yet, but they're all paid for, so very, very soon. All right, so put those screws back in there so we don't lose them. Hello from California, this is Brad. Hello, dude. Weld it. <laughs> I'm not that desperate to get it working. The amount of work it's going to take to get that welded and grinding it all back and everything. Oh my God. Probably take me hours and then it's probably still going to break. I'm not that desperate to, to use it. I've got plenty of other RCs. <laughs> Satellite internet is rubbish for live streams. Oh, didn't know that. When Nitro's coming? Oh, I don't know. The weather's getting better, so it'll have to be soonish, won't it? Do you recommend locking Centon rear diffs on the Creighton AS? I'd put a silicon earplug in the centre and leave the other one stock. Uh, but, you know, you want to have a little play around if you've got time and see what you like. Those screws back in there. Just so let me know where they go. Will you ever try Serpent Glue? GTE, sorry, glue. <laughs> I don't know. If everyone asks me to do it, yeah. I mean, whatever RC cars people ask me the most are the ones that I'm going to get. Or if it's one that I really want. When are you going to build the 3D printer? Uh, when Vinny comes over and gets going with it. <laughs> Vinny? Are you listening, Vinny? Got Tom Lee in the house, how you doing? Not much going on here. I was going to fix this jalopy, but um, ah, can't fix it. All right, you ready again? No one's guessed. No one has guessed what the new toy is. We're going to go a bit slower this time. Ready? Ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, it's there. It's there. It's on the table. Can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> Can anybody guess what it is? When are you getting an RC jet? Oh, I don't know. Russell RC in the house, how you doing, buddy? How's that drone getting on? <laughs> the drone that nobody can get working. The 
Somerset Boat, maybe. One more Mini Max, maybe. Tracks of Spartan. Um, no, <laughs> but maybe. Banggood Special, Tracks Boat. Tracks of Boat. Obeo MT Sport E. I think it's a boat. Is it a plane? New helicopter. New helicopter. Monster truck. Tractus RC boat. Eshin Wizard. 203 mile an hour update. I need to get some stiffer springs for it because the springs are way too soft with the batteries in there. Just bottoms out. And then we've got to find a local suitable test location. Because I don't want to travel halfway across England just to do a speed run for it to only do 100 mile an hour. I have to come back and modify it. And every time I have to drive halfway across England, we've got to find somewhere local. Right, I've definitely got a couple of places lined up, but they're quite far away. So if they're the only places that, that we can find, then we're going to go to those ones. But oh, I'm trying to find something more local first. I'm procrastinating, guys, is what I'm saying. I'm procrastinating. I've got to get on it. I've got to do some emails and phone calls. I'll just get on the case. But yeah, I, I should do it because it's the most popular call on my channel at the moment. Every time I do videos with that, everyone wants to watch. So I need to keep you guys happy and make videos about what you guys want to see. Right, that's the end of that one. Yes, Ian, Duxford. I've got a ring them. I emailed them and they said to give them a call. Oh, look at that, I've got a present for the haters. Look at that, we got some salt, especially for the haters. Game over salt. <laughs> uh, if any haters come in, we can just sprinkle a little bit of salt and wind them up a little bit more. I'll tell you what, ever since we got a million subscribers, the haters have been rampant. But much more love though, the amount of love has been overwhelming. Really appreciate all you guys. But yeah, the, the, some haters have come out of the woodwork and it is funny winding them up. I love it. <laughs> when someone's been a poop hole, then use them to your advantage. All right, what else have we got to fix? I don't know if I've got anything else to fix. Not that I've got parts for anyway. Uh, let's have a look. What else have we got? A Harvey needs body posts, UDR needs steering arm, what grade is a hub, Minimax bulkhead, okay it's done, LMT, maybe, I can't really fix anything guys, there's not really much more to fix, I mean I could do the LMT up there but I don't know if I've got all the parts for it, I'll have to have a little look. See this one here, it's got a knackered housing. <laughs> Someone says I see a bar. I'm giving it away now, haven't I? Ah, oh, silly me. <laughs> I must have shown you now then. <laughs> there you go. Apparently this one here's the fastest one that they do. <laughs> <laughs> stupid, <laughs> says Claire, Mr. Claire's RC. I'm stupid. Where is the Notorious? The Notorious is there, but it's got an outcast body on it. I've got a brand new body to put on it, Notorious one. But uh, yeah, I can't get it out again. This hasn't been out for about a year. I don't think I've used it. It's all ready to go. It all works. I've just got to get the old cobwebs off of there and, and bring it out. That needs new bearings in it, but I'm going to do that in a separate video altogether. I'll probably do it a main video on the main channel. <laughs> Is Claire thirsty? I don't know. Are you thirsty, Claire? When is the video of the boat coming? Oh, got to find something to run it soon. Hopefully soon. But Claire wants to play boats. Claire, when are we going to play with the boats? All right. If I've, if I've got old housing off the other one, we can probably get this back together again. Let me get the box.
Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
This gambling really with crypto, you never know if it's going to go up or down, you're just guessing. So whenever you get these crypto experts that are promising you that something's going to do something, they don't know, do they? You're just gambling. How much is the Raminator? I think it was about 3000 or something like that. What's the world's worst RC car? Uh, from the Tiger EK4. That thing was awful. Kev, any Facebook or Twitter? I've got a Facebook, but I don't use Twitter. Can you give me until start on the channel? Just pick up your camera, do start filming and upload. Have some fun. And then just see where it takes you. Don't take it too seriously to start off with. Just do it for fun. Get comfortable with it all, get comfortable with the editing, get comfortable with the filming, and just have fun. And if you ever make any money out of it, and you decide you want to do it full time, then go for it. Read all the books you can, talk to as many people as you can, study as many different videos as you can, and look at your analytics, and just keep bettering each video. But yeah, to start off with, don't worry about all that. Just pick up your camera, start filming, and have a laugh. What's the best pencil in your opinion? <laughs> I don't know, I don't really use them. That one there's quite good. This one's epic. 10 out of 10. <laughs> 630 people watching. Oh, it says 546 on mine. Uh, right. So next we got a uh, sway bars have got to come off. What music do you listen to when you're not streaming? I like a bit of a mixture. I don't like rap. I'm not a fan of that at all. Can't stand it. Uh, I like my 70s and 80s music. You know, a little bit of pop music, but not really. A little bit. Some of them are pretty cool. I quite like catchy songs that you can sing along to. Karaoke sort of music. Yeah, we'll call it karaoke music. That's my favourite sort of music. A project for the DBXL. Yes, going to start on that soon. Oh, the sway bar's bent, I've just straightened him out a bit. Sorted. Can you show us around the shop? I did it on uh, two live streams ago, dude. If you go and watch that one, you'll see. I hate pop, <laughs> someone says. Thoughts on sentence success? They're cool, but you can't get them anymore. And I'm not really a a short course fan personally they don't seem to jump that well do you like heavy metal not really but there's a couple of songs that are pretty cool right, so now this bit Do you have Rustler still? Yes, two wheel drive and a four wheel drive. Do you mind if people call you Kev? No, most people call me Kev. What's your favourite Monster Jam truck? Um, Mikey, B2 Bits, Overkill Evolution. ATCC Raminator, yeah, I've got to do that. But I'm still waiting for an email from the company when they're going to be ready with the engine. 
So no idea where that's going to be, uh, but I'm going to concentrate on building the real monster truck first. When are you jumping X Max over heli? Yeah, we've got to do that soon actually. I've got to get someone to get the heli working for me. Any, anyone see new armor crawler? They said they're never going to make a crawler, so... Mm, I think you're fibbing, Mr. Stein. Uh, right, so that's what we've got left for that housing. Uh, oh, this shock snacker, so we've got to put a new shock end on there. All right, let's get the shocks done first. Prepared first, I'll get them out of the way. Any crawler videos soon? Yeah, there will be. I've got a crawler for Vinny. So we're gonna do a video about that soon. When Vinny comes over. What camera are you using? It's my iPhone. iPhone 12, I think, Pro. The little one, not the big one. The big one's got a better camera, but I'm not a fan of big phones. that and then here's all the shock parts and I'm going to plug you into the charger guys because my phone battery is about to run out hold on be back in a sec guys let's get in the charger otherwise the phone's going to quit Boom. Is it charging? I don't know if it's charging or not. Uh, I have no idea. How do I know if it's charging? It doesn't say when it's on live. Hmm. Don't know if we're charging or not. I guess we'll find out soon if it cuts out. If it cuts out, the battery's flat. Please, my CX24. Yeah, a lot of you guys keep asking. Uh, Claire says, pull down from top right of screen. All right, top right. There's a little cross sign there. I can end the stream. Oh, yeah. Uh, it still doesn't say his battery health, though. You don't say, Claire. Oh, yeah, it is. 45% and charging. All right, there we go. Cool. All right, boom. Boom. Claire saved the day. Everyone go and check out Claire's RC's channel. How's it going, Kev? Good. Noah, very good. Thank you very much for asking. How are you? Have you heard of a channel called KSDC Nitro? I haven't, no. Right, so we need a new... Do you know what? Why... Why do you only get two odd ends? A bit there, but I don't know, you, you, you get four. That's not so bad. All right. They should really be made a bit better. These are a bit on the weak side. Max or Hoss? People keep asking every stream. I would say the Max. Claire's a moderator as well, so if anybody's misbehaving, then um, you'll get told off. <laughs> if you want to get told off, misbehave. <laughs> Do 
Traxxas Jato, ooh. Max or LMT Grave Digger, they're completely different rigs, dude. I mean, I love to Grave Digger. If I could only have one, I'd probably have to Grave Digger, only because I'm a complete monster truck fan. But if you're going to extreme bash, then Mini Max. These are more of like a scale sort of RC. Do you like Super Rockway? I do, but the knuckles are weak. So I have all of the aluminium ones. <laughs> Andy Webb says he wouldn't mind his bum smacks. <laughs> <laughs> Claire's got some bum smacking to get on with. Right, get that back on there. Bump. Right, there we go. Got that shot done, but we've got to do another one. We've got a rear shot that's gone as well. Well, it's not even on there. Yeah, Claire's close to 15k subs. We've got to get Claire up to 20k soon. Kev, do you make more money on eBay or YouTube? YouTube now. But only, only recently, really. Oh, that's broken. I mean, for the amount of time spent, you definitely make more money on eBay. But YouTube is so much more fun. The only trouble is with eBay, I mean, with YouTube, most people don't make any money at it. You know, some people spend years and years and years making YouTube videos, and nothing ever comes of it. With eBay, it's more of a, it's never a sure thing, it all depends on the individual, but you, you stand a much better chance of success on eBay. And a lot quicker as well, you know, if you want to scale up, you know, if you, if you want to double your money on eBay, then you literally just got to put double the amount of listings on there. But if you want to double the amount of money you make on YouTube, it's going to be years and years of hard work. So I do YouTube because of the fun of it, it's more fun. And like, yeah, recently, yeah, YouTube is making more money. But you know, that's sort of like after four years of like making videos every single day, pretty much, spending sort of 24 seven. If I had a, if I had a nine to a five job, YouTube wouldn't even be possible. Yeah, not to, not to this sort of extent that I'd do it at. I mean, you could do it for fun. So, you know, anyone that wants to be a YouTuber, I would say you need to treat it more than a full-time job. You know, if you want to, do YouTube seriously. You you wanna you wanna make it more than your full time job. You know I have like Christmas Day off and that's it. Every other day I'm YouTubing, I'm making videos, editing, filming. And then you know even with that, it's taken like four or five years to get it to a point that's worth doing really. So you really, you've got to find a way of making easy money so that you can sustain yourself for the next, say, four years. If you've got a job, you won't have time to do the, the, the YouTube. And if you haven't got a job, then you've got no money coming in. So unless you've got another source of income with not much work, you're really going to struggle to pull it off. And that's where I would say the old YouTube comes in, the eBay, because you could spend like a year, say, to set up an eBay store. And then with sort of two, two hours a day, maybe an hour, two hours a day, you can make more money than you do in a nine to five job. And then, then you've got all the time in the world that you can spend on a YouTube channel. You've got the time and the money. That's what you need with YouTube, you need both time and money. If you only got one or the other, you're gonna really struggle. So anyone seriously wanting to start a YouTube channel, yeah, by all means, start it off as a bit of fun. But if you really want to scale it up and you want to make it your job, you, you know, prepare to go for at least four years with not really any pay. At least, you know, that's been optimistic. Mr. Beast, it took him 10 years. You know, look at Mr. Beast now, but it took him, no, sorry, eight, I think it took him eight years to get, you know, to start making any decent money. So it's definitely worth doing, you know, some people like Mr. Beast, they really do hit it big. But it's all about the persistence. So in those years that you're not making any money, you need to find another way to pay the bills. 
And you know, I was fortunate enough because I already had the eBay store. So I come in here in the morning, done one hour, two hours of eBay, and then the money that the eBay made that funded the YouTube channel. All right. So now we need a screw that screws that shock back on, and I should have put it back through the hole, and I didn't. Silly me. Parts missing. We're going to do that in a minute. So we need the hexes off of it. But I need a screw that goes through the holeage. Oh. And uh, I've got to blow my nose. I've got snot. Right, there we go, snot gone. I pulled all the old nose hairs out, and when you do that, the snot just comes with a, re with a vengeance. Uh, we've got more parts here. Uh, I've lost, I've lost bits, dudes. Goes to that. We're going to need that. Right, just reorganising a bit for a sec, guys. Shocks we're done with. Lincoln's getting a Axial SCX24 and an X-Max. Whoa, lucky dude. Where do you edit your videos? Which program? I use Adobe Premiere. But you can't get a free one. Claire uses DaVinci Resolve. Right, so that's another housing that we can put on there. Oh, we need another shock screw. I don't know where it's gone. Oh, uh. Right, we might come back to that then. Oh, that will just get another one. Right, I'm gonna get a new one. New scrimmage! Oh, what an idiot! The screw's in there! Oh, what a knob! What a knob I am! The screw's in there! What? What an idiot! The screw's there! Looking for it everywhere and it's already in the hole! Have you ever driven or owned an Offner? Uh, yes, I've got Hobeo, which is pretty much an Offner, isn't it? about sponsorships you barely get sponsored is it because not a lot of companies don't want you to be honest um I, you know what I don't know I've never really been offered many sponsorship deals but now I'm getting loads of them coming up you know I've had no deals for like for months and months and months apart from Shadow Raid Legends which I didn't really want to do again because I don't really do it's not really the sort of thing that I game on and they wanted me to say in, in that first First sponsorship I did, they wanted me to say that I actually play it, and I said no. I said I don't, I'll promote it, but I'm not going to say that I play on it when I don't. So it's a deal, like go on in. But it's not really a good fit for me, you know. I like to promote stuff that I actually use myself. If I don't use it myself, it seems to be pointless promoting it, really. Right, so shocks back on. Right, so next, we've got the shocks done, the falling bars are all good. 
So now we've got to put our focus back onto the axle. So we've got this axle here and that axle there. So we've got to take these insides out of that and put them into that. Yes, that's what we've got to do. How's the cereal? The cereal's really good. I mean, I see a couple of comments where people saying, oh, you, you're lying, it's not good. Uh, it tastes like cardboard. Well, it depends what flavour you get. Uh, I like the cocoa one. That one's absolutely epic. I mean, no word of a lie, guys. When I first got that, that cocoa flavoured one, I opened the packet, I ate it, and I was like, oh my God, this is like so tasty. I'm definitely going to promote it. Uh, and then they've got the frosted one, which is like a... I don't know, it's frosted, I suppose. And that one's a bit cardboardy, I guess. Then I got a peanut butter one, and that one's pretty good, and I'm not a peanut butter fan. I don't like peanut butter, but yeah, that's quite good. And then they do the fruit one, which is really lemony. And I'm not really a lemon fan, but it's still all right. But you know, the cocoa one, that one was absolutely delicious. I can't fault that, not one little bit. Right, so that in there. And then get that off of there. Can you get Twitter? Oh, I'm not into all that social media. Not too much. I mean, I do YouTube. Facebook, I use it for the Messenger. I don't really go much in the RC groups because there's so much toxic people in there. You know, if you surround yourself with toxic people online or offline, it's going to have a really severe negative effect on your mental health and your well-being and everything. You know, and if you've got big dreams, you know, I've got massive dreams. I want a nice house. I want to have my own monster truck team. I want to get some land. You know, I've got many dreams. And if you start listening to all this negativity, the trouble is, eventually it starts rubbing off onto you and you'll start becoming like them. So you have to avoid... All that nonsense like the plague if you want to get anywhere in life. And I've done a pretty good job so far avoiding it all. Sometimes if a hater keeps going on and on and on and on and on the same one, eventually I'll say, right, stuff you, let's let him have it. And then I use them to their advantage because a hater is actually the best form of free advertising. Because they keep talking about you everywhere. They keep mentioning your name, they keep talking about you, and then other people that have not heard about you. They have to go and check you out. And then provided you're actually not a dick, <laughs> a lot of those people are going to start subscribing to you and start liking your content. So every time I've got some haters on board, my views just go through the roof because they talk about you on forums, on Facebook, on Instagram, like everywhere. They're talking about you everywhere. And it's brilliant. Free advertising. And, you know, if I'm, you know, the best response to a hater is no response at all. But if you see the same person keep leaving mean comments over and over and over and over and just won't drop it in the end i was thinking right stuff you i'm just going to use you now to my advantage and get free publicity out of you free marketing you know you've got to turn a negative into a positive if you can get these douchebags actually helping your channel grow it's a bonus isn't it why not <laughs> any advertising is good advertising says brian yes but you've got to make sure whatever they're accusing you of is not true. I mean, if, if someone's calling you out for something and they're right, then that's not good. You know, that's, that's, yeah, definitely not good. But if they're making up lies and, you know, and it's obvious that they're lying, then it's, there's no problem. Right, so we've got that on there. So then it's just free advertising at the end of the day. And I'm not going to turn down free advertising. They're going to go around spreading my name everywhere. Then knock yourselves out. It's the same with the eBay course. Every now and then you get somebody go, oh, Kev's eBay course, it's a scam, it's a scam. So then I'll, I'll sort of respond to him and I'll say, all oh, right, you think it's a scam? It's like, um, what's the matter with it, dude? You know, what's, what's wrong with it? Why is it a scam? Well, oh, it's, it's a pyramid scheme. And it's like, well, <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> like, do you know what a pyramid scheme is? This is a pyramid scheme. So, uh, where's, my, where's my thing gone? So then I'll say to my people that are in on the programme are happy, they're making money, 
and you're not you're not in on the program. You haven't got a clue what's in there, and you're saying it's a scam. And then what? I, then what I normally do? I put a link to my sales page. It's got all the testimonials on there. And I normally end up making a couple of sales. So you know, I've, I've done pretty well so far to use haters at my to my full advantage. Alright, so this, we've got to make sure we get these the right way around. Hey Kev, how is life going, says Sandy. Oh, it's good at the moment, dude. Dreams are coming true. Great group of friends. I mean, at the moment, dude, it can't be any better. I love my job. Getting on great with the family, great bunch of friends. Uh, just about to, you know, once a new property comes up, we'll be moving. Have a few acres of land that we can do our shenanigans on. Monster truck's going to be done in, a, in the next few weeks. So, um, yeah, all good. Second live stream ever, says Mark. Hey, welcome aboard, dude. Any new videos coming out, says Jakes. Yes, I've got 14 videos made, all uploaded. And I'm going to aim to release about three of them a week, maybe four sometimes. Do you still spray WD-40 uh, on RC cars, says Richie. Um, no, and not because it doesn't work, but because I'm, I forget. <laughs> I always think that I'm going to, then I forget. But to be fair, when I put a new arm on the X-Max, I do usually then go to the X-Max and cover it, just that part. Ever considered starting a Discord server? Uh, I don't know what Discord is, to be honest with you, dude. I know it's the sort of thing what you can talk on, but I'm not really sure how it works. I mean, do you text on there or do you FaceTime on there? I don't, I don't know what it is, dude. Uh, from what I can gather, you're like in some sort of a big chat room where people can talk to you. But I've never looked into it, dude, so don't know what to say. What's going on with that? Am I going to need a brushless conversion on the Raminator, said Brian. Uh, no, not for me, dude. I like the noise. Monster trucks have got to be loud and obnoxious. So I know the brushless is more convenient, but the Raminator is not convenient anyway. You know, convenience with the Raminator, it's gone out the window. So no, I'm going to put a bigger engine in, but not yet. When's Overgear coming back to life? No idea, dude. I will. I've got, I've got my editing slash gaming PC at home now. So the plan was, is to have my new editing PC here and take the old one home. And then I can do a few gaming videos at home in the evenings. Why are you wearing gloves? Why do you think, dude? Why do you think I'm wearing gloves? How much was that monster truck? Oh, can't remember, dude. 400 maybe? I don't know. When's the one million special video coming out? Oh, I'm still in the planning stages of it. What are you working on today? This is Lossy LMT. Kev, will you let Stemp loose with the spanners on the monster truck? Yeah, I think so. I mean, he's actually quite good at wrenching on big cars. Why don't you get the armor vortex? It's on order, dude. You have one million, why don't you do a video about it? I don't know, dude. I mean, it's there will be a special video at some point, but... Stemp always brings some laughs. Yeah, Stemp is awesome. I've been friends with Stemp since I was 10 years old. Had laughs with him my whole life. You know, he's been there for me for the thick and the thin and everything. So, got a lot of respect for Stempo. 
When will the monster truck build start? Oh, as soon as the parts get here. Hopefully in the next few weeks. How do you feel about the Hoss? It's alright, but I prefer bigger RCs. I mean, for what it is, for its size, it's absolutely epic. But, you know, for me, it's a bit small. I'm scared to get the Ugga Dugger in here, you know. Yeah, I'm scared of rounding it off. Let's get it in there anyway. Who would win a tug of war, X Max or Creighton? Creighton AS probably because it's heavier. Nice stream quality today. Yeah, it looks pretty good today. Where are you going for your next video? Oh, I can't remember. I can't even remember what the next video is. I've got 14 videos uploaded. Maybe I'll do a helicopter video. I've got two helicopter videos on there. So I think I might do the little mini Sab Goblin next. I crashed it and rebuilt it and then crashed it again. Seb good at working on full size cars. That's not what you said in the past. Oh, Ian, he, he can do it, but he, he bodges it up so bad. I remember I had a Ford Mondeo. And it needed a clutch doing. And I was like, ah. Stem's like, I'll do it if I pay him for it. So I was like, yeah, go on in. So Stem put a new clutch on there. I wasn't going to use the car anymore because I just wanted to bang away it. <laughs> so um, Stem put a clutch in there and then he was struggling to get this bottom engine mount in. And I was like, Stem, because Stem was going to not bother putting it in. I was like, Stem that engine mount has to go in. Nah, he goes, look, look, he goes, it's all. It's all lovely and tight in there, that engine. You don't need it. I said, yeah, it might be tight now, but I'm going to be banger racing it. The first thing I'm going to hit, the engine's going to fall out if you don't put that in. All right, all right, you go. So Stem, he said he put it in. All was good. Took it banger racing. First hit, engine falls out on the floor. Because <laughs> Stem, he didn't put the engine mount back in. But, you know, he's, he's got a TVR and he's put new engines in there. He's built a mini from scratch, you know, he's, he's taken it completely apart, repainted all the body, done all the welding on it, put new subframes in there, put a turbo engine in there from a Metro Turbo. So you can do it. Oh no, this one's got the little ears broken off. Damn it. We've got trill ones. Do we put those on there? What is your dog's name? I don't have a dog yet. But I will do when I get my land. And we're going to have a couple of Arsatians, a couple of Rottweilers, and a few pigs. When's Andy the Landy coming back? Andy's going good. I'm looking for a new roof for him though. I want a roof with no windows. Oh, just put those on there. And then I'll notice, look, it snapped the little lugs off. I want to figure out which goes on which side. I know the left and the right are a bit mix, mixed up on these trills. Yeah, so right is right and left is well, left is right and right is left unless you put it on upside down. Huh. Huh. What's going on here? You've got to get the right one on there, otherwise your caster's going to be messed up and you still want this little stop at the end because Trill have got the left and the right mixed up on these. So I think you've got to put the right on the left and the left on the right, or you can put the left on the left, but you've got to put it on upside down. I'm not really sure which way it is planned to go on. Oh, and these are zero degrees, so they're no good anyway. Oh, damn it. 
Damn it. All right, uh, we can't use them then. We just have to roll with this broken one for now and then we'll replace that at a later date. All right, so next, we've got the knuckles. Are these handy? Right, right. So that one on there, that one on that end. Is that right? Is that right? Oh, so we'll go that way. Mm -hmm. Stupid me. Stupid me! Hello from Norway. Hello, Toffa. Emily says, you go into Paddlesworth event, Ian. Uh, we will go to Paddlesworth, but it'll be a private one. Some toxic people have started going there, and I've got no interest in that. I see it's supposed to be fun. And you have to avoid toxic people at all costs, otherwise they're going to grind you down. And then you'll end up being just like them. So you've got to steer clear of them at all costs. Uh, right, where is Pinnage? Pin in there. And then we got a... Do these up. Tug of war with Ravenator versus X Max and Creighton. Oh, how many X Maxes do you reckon it will take? Right, that one there. We get that, but we're getting somewhere, guys. We've nearly done it. There's too many trolls in here, can't pay attention to them because that's all they want. Uh, any, if there's any moderators in the house, then, um, yeah, uh, time out the trolls or block them. How do some people get so toxic, toxic about toys? Oh, I have no idea, dude. I have absolutely no idea. Uh, right, right. It might be because they feel like they're like a fully grown adult and they're playing with toy cars and they can't admit it that they're playing with a toy. So they've got to try and make it all professional and, and uh, I've got no interest in that. I'll tell you what guys, I'll get the most fun just with a small group of friends and just having a laugh. That's when I'll get the most enjoyment. The trouble is when you start going in big groups, it only takes one person to turn the whole lot toxic and you ruin the whole experience. So that in there. Oh, I'll tell you what. Have I got a steering arm? Oh, Ian's trying to find some new bash bots. They are just jealous of your fun. Yeah, that's probably what it is. I'll tell you what, when I first got the Lambo, there was haters everywhere. You know, when, when haters get jealous, they try and ruin your life. And then when I got a million subscribers, more haters. But you're absolutely right, it's jealousy. You know, you've got something that they want. And rather than to go out there and work hard themselves so they can have the nice things, they think it's easier just to try and drag you down to their miserable level. So you just have to avoid them. You, you start responding to these people and, and hanging around with them. It's not going to end well. Right. That I think can go back on now.
Would a lot better, crawling or bashing? I prefer bashing, but crawling can still be fun. Alright, uh, next. Four legs bars first. And that would be the big long screwage, that one there. Mate TLX4, like Andy the Lander. You know what? I'm looking for a body. If I can find a body the same, then I would. But they only make like the, the civilian version with the four doors, and I need the van body. So I might just have to get the civilian ones and paint the windows blue or something to make it look a bit like it. I don't know. Maybe rivet a bit of Lexan over the top of it. That could work, couldn't it? All real Kev fans love Claire. Way. Do you have one million YouTube play button? No, that always comes late. The mug's always the size of the drill. This mug is absolutely massive. Look at the size of it. <clears throat> Beautiful. Look, normal size mug. <laughs> oh, you can't even see it. There you go, look. Look at the size difference of that. <laughs> right, so that's on. Uh, I think next we've got to get the servo mount back on. Oh, where is the servo, by the way? Oh, we're missing a servo. Where is the servo gone? We appear to be missing a servo. Hmm. That's strange. Now that's a cup of tea, yes! So that goes... Going. Ah, that's why. Cut the nuts inside here. Uh, oh, pardon me. What's wrong with a cheetah? Oh, a diff cup's broken inside. Why no donation button, Mr. Torbert? I love funding more waffle, waffle, waffles. Ah, oh, thanks, Zeus. <laughs> I took it away because I want people to, to donate to my favourite charity instead. So link to that favourite charity down below. It's Great Ormond Street. It's a hospital for sick kids. They do an amazing job. When I was a truck driver, I used to deliver to there. A special place in my heart. All the money goes straight to the charity. There's no big fat cat standing at the top siphoning off all the money. And you know what? What can be better than helping someone that that can't help themselves? And damn it, I've done it wrong. Dad's RC Hangar has great charity to choose. Top man, really. Yeah, they're a great charity. You've got to be careful with a lot of charities. There's a lot of charities. They're not actually really a charity. They make a lot of money, and then they end up pocketing it. 
So you've got to be really careful when it comes to charities that the money goes to the right charity. You and Stem should do more nitro. Yes, summer's coming. Uh, definitely, definitely more of that. When is XO1 going to the moon? Well, that was if we get a million subscribers last year. We didn't. So that, unfortunately, yeah, well, not going to happen. But so many of you guys keep asking me to do it that I might do it anyway. <laughs> If enough of you people keep asking me, then I might do it. I don't really want to kill it though, I like it. But you've got to keep the old viewers happy. Whatever the viewers want to see, they get. Someone's asking about the monster truck parts again soon. Next few weeks, dude. I want to get it done for August, because in August the 22nd there's a monster truck show in Santa Pod, and I want to take part in it. So that is my goal, to get it done by then. So I've got to get it done really at the start of the start of August, to give me a chance to run it and practice with it and learn how to drive it and all that. Scrooges in there. <laughs> Susie Q says, Oh my god, he answered my question. <laughs> Comment. Fainted. <laughs> I'm not famous. I'm not Justin Bieber. I'm, I'm only a man child playing with toy cars. <laughs> You're making me blush. When's oh, my fanboy coming back? Yeah, he's going to have to come back, isn't he? He won't respond to this comment. No balls. <laughs> I can't respond to all the comments. There's so many coming in. We've got 500 people in the stream. <laughs> Claire said I've got Belieber hair. <laughs> no, Belieber's got Kev hair. I had the same hair when Belieber was still in his father's left ball. So I said, I have any respect for Justin Bieber, but respect you, Kev. Ah, <laughs> thanks, dude. No, I'm not a Justin Bieber fan, you know. I'm not a fan, but take my hat off to him, though, what he's achieved. Not many people can achieve what he has. Love him or hate him, you've got to admit, he's done well. Right. Uh, the servo can go on after anyway, so that's cool. Changing the housings on these is a pain in the butt. St. Jude's Hospital uh, for Sick Kids in America is a great great charity. Yes, dude, I know. St. Jude's is a great um, charity in America. Is this going to go back together? It's a bit mashed up, but it's been flapping around. Your videos always put a smile on my face. Ah, oh, thanks, SQ, Wurtz, Wurtz, whatever. <laughs> uh, I'm not very good at spelling and reading and stuff. Come on, come on, come on, come on, boy. Jesus Christ. That is... Do you know what, when I carried on driving it, this was flapping around, or Let's get it a bit closer so you guys can see what's happening. But this was like flapping around like a schmeckle and it was grinding away at everything. So now it doesn't want to slide back in nicely. So I think we have to get a bit of filage out on there. 
Make sure that it slides in nice. What is the best mini crawler? I like the HPX Devastator, four wheel steering. That's my favorite one, personally. Are there any upgraded, any upgrades for them links? I see a few break. Uh, I know Trill makes some 70-75 ones, but I think the trouble is if you make it solid, something's got to break. If you crash it hard, something's got to give. And if you make it too strong, you might end up breaking axles and stuff and chassis, it's a lot harder. These are relatively easy to fix, especially the bottom ones. What servo should I replace the X-Max servo with? There's a video on that, dude. It was an AGF one I put in mine, loads of power. There is a video of that on the main channel. Which RC car do you hate the most? That would be the Thunder Tiger EK4 Monster Truck. Took me ages to save up for it. This was years ago, probably 20 years ago. Took me ages to save up for it. Worked my butt off to get it. And then when I finally got it, it sucked. First time I put the brakes on, diff stripped. First time I accelerated, rear diff stripped. Engine, you just could not tune it, wouldn't run right. Chassis bent, like worse than a stock armour chassis. The thing was a pile of junk. But I bought it because I was a Monster Truck fan. And the promotion video looked epic. And then I've actually got it and it sucked. Oh, there we go, that's better. That's a nice bit of slidage. Are you going to buy other Mini Maxwells for this car? Not for this one, I want to leave this one stock. The Grave Digger's the one that's getting modified and this one's going to be left bone stock. But, they have made some better axle housings. It's got webbing in there. And I've got some of those on order, but they're not here yet. Slash versus Rustler video. Ha, ah, maybe, dude. When's the boat coming? Soon. Ask Claire. Claire, when are we taking out the boat? Because Claire wants... Claire's got a little boat, actually. But yeah, whenever the crew's up for it, I'm up for it. I'm ready. When will you start selling all your cars? Ah, I've got no plans of selling any of them. Are you still teaching your eBay classes? Yes, I am. I had a guy, uh, what was it, about a month ago? He sent me a testimonial and he made 20 grand in one week. I know I do if he makes that sort of money every week, but I mean, that's good. I mean, a lot of people don't even earn that in a year. It's very good going to do that in a week. And I think he said that was profit as well. I can't remember, I might be wrong. But he said, I think about 50% of it was profit. So I can't remember if his turnover was 40 grand and he made 20 grand or if his turnover was 20 grand and he made 10 grand. But whatever it was though, for a week's work on eBay, that was pretty good. Best brand of servo for LMT? I don't know, there's many good brands, but in my one, I've got the Ludicrous servos. If you look on my video, there's a link to them, and they've got loads of power. Super fast, super strong, well made. Metal gears, so far, perfect, can't fault them. So I can only recommend what I've tried, and you know, I've tried the Ludicrous servos, and so far, they're perfect. So check them out. What's the name of your eBay shop? I don't share it anymore, dude, because I did that before. Everybody started copying my exact listings. And killed my eBay store. So I says, how much do I make a week on eBay? I used to make uh, about 30 grand a month turnover, and then about 10 grand a month for that is profit. But at the moment, I'm focusing more on my YouTube, so that's gone down a little bit. 
And the reason I do YouTube more is because I have more fun doing it. For me, fun over money. And, you know, for the amount of effort that I put on eBay, the eBay makes more money, you know, sort of, if you worked it out on like a per hour basis. If I put the same amount of effort into eBay as I did on YouTube, I would have made multiple millions so far. I've done a million on eBay already, in total, a bit over now. What are you wrenching on? Lossy LMT 10. What do you think about competition racing? Uh, it's not really for me. I used to do it a little bit. Well, uh, people tend to be so serious with it and when I'm clowning around, I don't like it. So I'd rather just bash with a, with a small group of friends, all like-minded, having a laugh. Once you start hanging around in groups that are too big, you start getting all the silly nonsense and stuff, and you know, that's, I can't see the point in any of that. It's just supposed to, you know, the only point of RC is to have fun, there is no other point. And if there's people going to be there spoiling it for you, you get a lot of spoiling it in racing, you know, you get those that want to, not all of them, but a lot of people in racing, they only talk to you if you're like in, in the top clan, if you've only got the most expensive stuff, and if you're the one that's always winning. If you're like a beginner or you've only got cheap stuff and you just come along for a bit of fun, I don't really want to talk to you, a lot of them. If you accidentally crash into someone, they go they go absolutely nuts. If you're marshalling and you're not quick enough, they're shouting and swearing at you. It's like, to me, that's no fun. So that's why I stopped going. You know, I get the most fun when it's a small group of friends on a skate park or in the woods and just, just having a laugh, relaxing. And just enjoying the hobby, that's when I get the most fun. And that's the thing with RC, there's no right and wrong way of doing it. The best way of doing it is whichever way puts the biggest smile on your face. That is the way that you've got to do it. And that's different for everybody, so no one can argue with you that you're doing it wrong. If you're having a smile on your face, you're not doing it wrong. The bigger the smile, the bigger the indication that you're doing it right. And if you're not enjoying the hobby, then you're doing something wrong. You know, a lot of these haters are probably not enjoying the hobby. They're just sour and bitter. And, you know, they want to ruin it for everyone else. You know, for them, they'd be better off just quitting the hobby, not, not even bothering. You know, if you're not having fun, why even bother? Why waste your time and waste all your money on on a toy car if you're not even enjoying it? It just seems a bit daft. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. You should get a lot of that in the racing clubs. You get people that show up, they race. And if they're not doing well, if he's not winning, I'll sod this from going home. And like, to me, you're in it for the wrong reasons. If you're only in it to win, and that's it, then why bother? You know, to me, turn up and have a laugh with your friends, do your racing, and if you win, it's a bonus. But if you don't win, you've still had a good night. But if you only, the only way you can have fun is to win, what's the point? Not everyone can win. Only one person's going to win. So what, everyone else is going to have a bad evening? Is Lambo working? Yes, Lambo's working perfectly. Took it out for a whip the other day. And I forgot how fast it was. Be a video about that soon, actually. How's the Rover, Ro Roven Baja going? Uh, yeah, all right. I mean, I've not had it out for a while, but I'll have to get it out again soon. All right, so we've got the axle back on. Russell RC says, no fun, no point. Absolutely, mate. Absolutely. You've got to do whichever way brings the most fun to the hobby. That's the way you've got to do it. Right, so next, I don't know where the hell the steering servo has gone. We're going to have a look for that. There's supposed to be a bar that goes across here. Uh, I don't know where that's gone, but it's going to be somewhere, obviously. Unless I nicked it for the other one. Right, there's a servo. I don't know if it works or not. Then we got the steering arms, but they're both broken and we've got tape around them. So they could go in temp temporarily. Here's another steering servo. I know I killed two. Oh, actually, I think they're dead. Yeah, I remember now, these are dead. 
Oh. Oh, that's why they're dead. Look. I've jumped them at the skate park and they stopped working. If you look, look, the wire's come off. The wire's broken on that one and on that one. So I reckon if we solder that back on, that servo's going to work. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. All right, we're going to do that. Next, we need the little washer thing that goes in there. I don't think I've got one. I think I used it on the other one because I made the other one rear wheel steering. Oh, we've got some in here. Yes, 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 yes. We've got some brand new ones in here. Hopefully, guys, we're going to get this going. Hopefully, because we stole this axle off of here to put onto the grave digger so we can have four wheel steering. And now I've got to try and get it all working. This is the bits I've got laying around. And so far, we're doing it. So stick around guys and see if we can get this going again in this video. I have no idea if we're going to or not, but I think we should. We've got a good chance. All right, so we've got those. And then I think we've got all of it, look. Ah, there's a steering link that's supposed to go across and we got, oh, we got that in there. Oh, we got it all guys. Look, we got that. So that goes in there. That one in there. What is your favorite RC? Raminator and X-Max. X-Max for its versatility and everyday use to Raminator for, like, for maximum fun. But Raminator is not practical. You know, it's, like a, it's not an everyday RC, that's for sure. Did you get a new window for Land Rover? No, I'm not going to get a new window. I want to get a different roof with no windows. Because every time I'm off-roading, those windows are at risk of getting smashed on trees and stuff. And the sunroof, I keep hitting it on height restrictions and the amount of times I nearly smashed out, I've lost count. So I don't want a window on it. I want to get a roof without any windows. Best cheap radio, Dumbo. Yeah, I love the Dumbo. Martin's gone off to Dumbo actually, I don't know why, I think he said he keeps doing a runaway. But my Dumbo's have been perfect. What do you think of Armour Vortex? It looks good. It looks very similar to a big rock with different wheels and body. And if that's got anything to go by it, it should be absolutely epic. And I've got one on order. Armour won't send me any cars because I'm too honest with them. <laughs> so I've got to buy myself, which is fine. I'd rather buy myself because then I don't have to kiss any butts. But it just means I get it a bit later. I can't get him early. It would be cool to get him early, but I'd rather get it later and I can say what I like. I've heard from some reviewers that Horizon gives you this certain things that you got to that you got to do. The car's always got to be perfectly clean. If it breaks, you can't show it in the video. Uh, I've not actually seen the proper script of what they got to say, but you're not really open to do what you want. So if there's any, if there's anybody in the stream that's gotten free stuff from Horizon, uh, if you're allowed, it'd be interesting to know what their criteria is, what you're allowed to do, what you're allowed to say. From what I understand, in the first video, you're not allowed to break it, and if you break it, you've got to cut it out. All right, so that's back on. Uh, wheels, that's an easy one. We've got the wheel nuts here. Put the one there while we've got them. We need to find a servo saver. Right, that's looking good. Uh, we've got a couple of servo savers here, but I kind of butchered them. I hammered them on. 
uh, onto a different spline, so they're kind of knackered, but I think I've got some spare ones somewhere. So let's see if we can get the servo working again first, because look, both of these have got the wires off. So this one here, we might be able to take this cover off and resolder it. If not, then on this one, we've got a little bit more wire hanging out. So if we can't do it to that one, then I think we can definitely do it to this one. So let's bust out the soldering iron. There might be a link for this down below, I can't remember. But this is a Banggood special, and you plug it into a LiPo. So let's get a LiPo. Back in a sec. What 3D printer do you have? I think it's an Edgo or Engo or something. I think it was like $150 or 150 pounds or something. I think it's the best cheap one. So I think you hit that button. Or that button, I don't know. Ah, there we go. So we've got it set to, I think 400 is maximum. Yeah, it doesn't take too long to warm up actually. Uh, We've got Jack in the house. Someone says X Max is most durable. It's definitely one of the most durable ones. Certainly stock. I think stock it probably is the most durable. How many grave diggers do you have? I've got the grave digger LMT, this is a son of a digger, and I've got a grave digger axial uh, SMT10. Which I'm not too much of a fan of that one actually. Have you ever tried Spectrum Lipos? I haven't yet. Not yet, but I probably will at some point. Jack Lee in the house. Son of Hardcore, how you doing, dude? Your editing's getting really good, by the way, dude. Definitely give yourself a pat on the back for that one. All right, so we've got to get a little bit of this insulation off. This is a little trick I got from Stempy. You heat it up with a lighter, and then you just go like that. And there you go, look. Perfect way to strip the wire without damaging the, the actual wire. And this one here is going to be a bit more tricky. Look, we're right on the edge. But I'm going to try. If not, we have to open it up. Right. Let's get, get the seatage out. Hey, you got hardcore in the house. How you doing, hardcore? <laughs> hardcore said he switched to hardcore. Oh, so hardcore was Jack. <laughs> we'll have to give Jack a, a modulator badge as well. You gotta check out Hardcore's, is it latest video where he, he jumped his RC car next to a drone, nearly hit it, it was mad. <laughs> you gotta watch that, go to Hardcore RC and um, is it latest video Hardcore? The one we nearly hit the drone, that was such an epic shot, I am so jealous. That's gotta be one of the best RC shots like ever, that was amazing. Uh, right, next we need a bit of heat shrink. Hardcore says, yeah, latest, yeah. Go over to Hardcore, check out his latest video. That shot he got with that drone, that was absolutely epic. I'm jealous. I wish I had a shot like that on my channel. <laughs> Tom Lee says, healthy Kevin, soldering with no extractor. Ah, I need a little bit of, bit of heavy metals in your lungs. 
Breathe it all in. Oh, yes. No, don't breathe it in. No, if you don't do it too often, it's probably not too bad. But yeah, Tom Lee's right. You should have extraction going. Snippage of that. <laughs> Don't breathe, hold your breath. Yeah, it's not the best stuff to breathe in, solder. A bit of heat shrinkage on there. And then, oh, this is going to be tricky. So one to the moon if we get a million likes. All right, if we get a million likes on this video, I will send it to the moon. <laughs> but I can't see that happening. That's like wearing a mask while painting. Yeah, I'll do wear a mask when I'm painting, actually, if I'm spray painting something. I always put my muzzle on for that. <laughs> Hard course, there's nothing wrong with full lead solder, no extraction. <laughs> I've got some full lead solder up there actually. It's the best stuff I've got. We can't really buy it anymore, so I don't want to use it because it's hard to replace. Right, get that on there. Get that on there like that. <laughs> Tommy says he uses solder daily, no extraction, not dead yet. <laughs> My granddad, he had an asbestos balcony panels and every couple of years he got the angle grinder out and grinded it all down, like the whole thing, in his garage. He took all the panels off, put them in the garage, Got an angle grinder out, ground off all the, all the old paint, and then repainted it. And the whole garage, everything, just full fog of, of asbestos. He just breathed it all in, no mask. And he was healthy. He never, nothing ever happened to him, nothing bad at all. It's weird. And other people breathe in one part of corn, they die. You can still buy full lead solder, just need to know where to look. Ah, interesting to know, hardcore. Right, so that's that servo hopefully working again. But let's, let's open this one first, actually. Let's quickly crack this one open, see if we can fix that one while it's holding irons on. Is the lossy grave digger worth buying? If you're a monster truck fan, absolutely. If you want to bash something similar size, get, get the Mini Max. But if you want a scale monster truck, and you, you can still bash it. I mean, I've sent mine to the moon. But they're more top heavy, it doesn't handle as good. And out the packet, out the box, the axles are a little bit on the weak side. But if you get the old LMT stuff, I mean the true hobby stuff on there, absolute beast. I love it. It's one of my favourite RCs, without a doubt, one of my favourite RCs. I have Traxxas Grinder Monster Jam. Wee! I mean, the Traxxas ones are okay. But they're not really proper monster trucks. I mean, for me to be a proper monster truck, it needs to have a, a solid axle. Kevin, how do you donate, says Zachary. I've taken away the option to donate because I want people to donate to my favourite charity instead. And the link to that charity is down below. Great Ormond Street Hospital for Sick Kids. The sick kids need the money more than I do, so I'd much rather you guys donate it to them. Right. Ah, we might be able to solder this. Stephen says, what's up from the United States? What's up, dude? How you doing? Thanks for stopping by. What are you doing for the million subscriber special? That is still top secret at the moment. Tom Lee's giving Dom YouTube advice, I think. 
I think he's trying to get a thousand subs. Keep making videos, dude. It took me a year to get to a thousand subs. A whole year. But, you know, don't worry too much about the numbers. Just, just have fun for now. If, you know, if it starts making a load of money, then by all means, make it your business. But I think to start with, it's unrealistic for most people to make it their full-time job. So you've got to really have fun first. And if, if you can make it your job later on, then it's a bonus. Ask Tom Lee. Tom Lee knows how much work there is in YouTube. And he's got a full-time job. Tom Lee, you're, you're actually doing amazing, you know. Having a full-time job and and a pretty much a full-time YouTube channel at the same time. I'll take my hat off to you, mate. You're doing well. But what I'm not doing well with it at the moment is getting this thing off. It's like it's glued on. Uh, uh, get out of there. How do you donate? Link to my favourite charity down below, dude. Great Ormond Street. There's a link there to donate to them. <sighs> that doesn't want to come off. Oh, yes, we do. Gromit is off. But now we've got to try and get it back in the hole. You should get a Traxxas Summit. I've got one, dude. There's a video soon with that. I've just got a Summit. I copied Tom Lee on that one, actually. I see Tom Lee get a Summit. And people keep telling me to get one. And um, Tom Lee made it look really good. So I was like, yeah, sod it. I'm getting one. <laughs> Tom Lee's fault. Have you heard of drop shipping? Yes, I've heard of it, and no, I would not recommend it. There's too many things to go wrong with it. First of all, your margins are pretty much non-existent. You're not really going to make any money at it. You're going to have to sell so much stuff to make it worth your while. Um, if your suppliers don't ship out the stuff on time, which happens a lot, because you think if you're drop shipping for a certain company, they've probably got hundreds of other people selling that same item, and if they sell out and they can't fulfil your order, you're going to end up, if you're doing it for eBay... And I don't think you're even supposed to do it really for eBay. You're going to end up with loads of negative feedback and loads of hassle. So I'll stay away from drop shipping. Drop shipping is where, say you list an item on it, say you put this on eBay, but you don't have it. So you list it anyway, and then when someone buys it, you then order this from the company that supplies it or makes it and get them to send it to the person that bought it. And it's good because you can list a load of stuff and not have it in stock, and you only got to buy it once the customer pays. So that side of it's good, but the trouble is, because so many people do it and everyone's competing against each other and you're not risking any of your own money, people are selling it for literally making no money. You know, you might even do it at a loss sometimes, so... Nah, I wouldn't... I'd stay away from dropshipping personally. I've tried it and didn't get on well with it at all. I gave up with it in the end. Looks good on the surface, but nah. 116 Summit, yes, got one coming, dude. I've got to try and drill this out because I've got, to, I've got to get the wires back through again. Have you been to Norway? I haven't, dude, no. The screwdrivers with the cylinder holes, who makes them? Oh, these? There's a link to these down below, I believe. If not, then I think there is. I think there's a link down below. These are Banggood ones. And I've broken the 1.5 because these are made out of really hardened steel. And the trouble is, if you really force something, then you can you can break them. But they are good. They're comfortable. They've got a decent tip on them. They don't wear out really that quickly. And the good thing with these holes is you can get extra leverage on there if you have to, but it's not really recommended. And they're cheap as well. So I can't really argue. How can I fix Raminator rear steer wobble? Uh, you've got to make the caster go the right way. You've got the caster on the front going, the caster angle is that. That's the caster angle. And if you set the steering up on your Raminator, hold on, you can't see. If you set the steering up on your Raminator as stock, then your caster angle on the back is going to be like that. It's basically your kingpin. And if you've got the caster going the wrong way, they're going to flap about. So you've got to change your caster so it's leaning backwards. 
and then it's going to want to naturally want to go in a straight line. And you can do that on the laminator. Uh, I think you've got to take off. You've got to take something off, and then you can rotate it a bit and get that cast to go in the right way. You'll see it when you look at it. I can't remember. It was ages ago when I did it. Why do you not use MIP tools? I don't know. I saw Ian's and I wasn't that impressed with them. Ah, this doesn't want to go back in there. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Kev, what's your favourite RC car? X-Max and Raminator. Raminator for ultimate fun and X-Max best all round. I think everybody who likes bashing RC cars has got to have an X-Max. Even if you don't like Traxxas, you have to have an X-Max. You just have to. If you haven't got an X-Max, you're not a true basher. That's all I can say. <laughs> well, you are, but you know, you know what I'm saying. YouTube is harder than my real job. But more fun, says Tom Lee, yeah. It does get easier though, you know, when you know as, as you get more views, you obviously get paid more. And it's still the same amount of work, so it does become better. I want an X Max but don't have the money. Make some money then, dude. I want a yacht and I haven't got the money, so I've got to figure out a way of doing it. Get in there, damn it. Why won't you go in? Rage loading. How are you going to transport a monster truck? I've got, I've got to get a lorry. Arctic lorry, we call it here in the UK. A semi, you guys call it in the States. But mine's too wide to fit in a trailer, so I've got to get a custom trailer. I've, I've ordered some custom-made axle housings that are a lot wider than a normal monster truck. Claire says driving it. If you get a lorry license, you can drive it. Everyone's saying Claire's hungry. <laughs> Amazing Music says, what's with the new pro property? Still looking, dude. I'm looking every single day. You know, it's got to be right. You know, I, I wonder. I like the Palladium style house, but modern on the you know classic sort of architecture. You know, like the Palladium look, but then modern sort of fixtures. That's my look. So that's really what I want. But then I want loads of land, outbuildings. So I'm still looking. Good morning from New Zealand. Hello, dude. Rachel says, how you doing, bud? I'm doing good. How are you? Oh yes, we're through. We are through. Look, I've, I've been trying to get that cable to go through that grommet. Look, but we've done it now. The next, we've got the circuit board. I'm no good at this. So I'm probably going to completely butcher it, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. If it's broken anyway, you've got no nothing to lose by trying. So let's do a stamp and strip the old wire. There we go, look, look at that. Perfect. If you try and do it with that, you probably end up cutting the wire off. So it works so well. So warm it up for a couple of seconds and boom. Look at that, absolutely perfect. Make sure you breathe all those fumes in as it comes up. 
It's all good for you. Not, obviously. Do you live near Paddlesworth? No, I'm about five hours away. I'd go there a lot more often if I lived closer, dude. It's a long old drive, especially for Andy the Landy with those tyres on there. No, we normally go about once or twice a year to Paddlesworth. Definitely one of the best places I've been to, if not the best place. Hospitality, spot on, can't fault it. They did an amazing job on the tracks and everything. Can't fault it. All right, so, all right, so we've got to make sure we put the wires back on in the same order. So we've got black, red, and then white. Right, remember guys, black, red, white. I'm not really good at this. Oh. Jesus. Jesus. You're supposed to put it through the hole really, then do it, but. Hmm. Hmm. All plastic on there. No, we're going to give up with that in a minute. I don't think it's going to work too well. Might work. Hardcore says that's what she says. Kev, do you believe in God? I am um, no comment, dude. I don't know. I've never seen God. And what is God? First of all, what is God? Tell me what God is. I mean, I'm sure there's some things out there in the great big universe that we don't know what it is. But, you know, define God. What is it? If, if, if it's a bigger power, there probably is a bigger power out there. Can it think? Who knows? I have no idea. Do I look at it? When we, when we die, we might figure it out, or we might not. But I don't think we're going to figure it out while we're alive. So I'd rather enjoy my life in the real world. I don't worry about that if I die, if you're going to find out. That's the way I look at it. But you know, everyone can do what they like. Some people like going to church and praying and all that stuff. And if they enjoy it, then do it. You've got to do what makes you happy. If you don't enjoy it, then don't do it. Right. End of the day, do whatever puts the biggest smile on your face with RC, with your job. Do whatever the hell you want in life, as long as you're not harming anybody else. Do whatever the hell you please. Right, so black first. This is not going to work, is it? <laughs> Kev, do you love your job? I absolutely love it. I look forward to coming here every single morning. I've never had a job so good. Absolutely love all of it. When I quit my job, I think 13 years ago I quit my job and I'd never in a million years would have thought I'd get paid for playing RC toys. Never in a million years would have thought that. It's crazy, absolutely insane. I, I, can't, I can't believe that you get paid and that people want to watch some man child playing with RC toys. It's mad, it's crazy, but I love it. <laughs> Someone says, get in it now. Oh, we'll get it in a minute. I don't think it's gonna work, to be honest. Oh, why is it getting colder? What, why is it only on 170? Why are you calling down? Oh, you piece of junk. Your battery might be flat. 
24 volt is maximum we're allowed to give it. Mm. All right, let's get another battery. Let's give it 6S. 6S power, baby. What is it? Oh, there we go. There we go. Right. I've got to go to the toilet quickly. While it's warming up, I will be back in a second. Keep an eye on that for me, guys. If it catches fire, shout. Right, we're back. Thanks for keeping an eye on the soldering iron, guys. Addicted to RC says, am I planning to get a, prim a primal drag car? I'm not, dude, no. I mean, I'd get a smaller drag car for a bit of fun, but I think to get a big one, you've got to really be into it hardcore. And, you know, never say never. Maybe one day, but at the moment, I'm more into monster trucks and stuff. And this doesn't want to stick. I don't think it's going to work. I'm not an expert solderer. I might give it to Vinny. <laughs> That's not soldering, is it? That's not soldering. Wasting my time with that. All plastic on it and everything. No, oh, what a mess. What a mess. <laughs> my post is following me on Instagram. Wee! Oh no, it's following Claire. <laughs> Still wee! My local shop will be a primal dealer soon, can't wait. Oh, that would be epic if you can just walk in your local shop and get parts for them, that would be sick. Oh, this ain't sticking. Just going on the tip and not on the actual circuit board. Oh, come on. Ah. Nah, it's not going to work. I'm being pessimistic. No way is this going to work. Can't see it. All coming off. Oh, oh, uh, work, you idiot. Uh. Not it's on. It is on. 
Well, whether or not it's going to work, that is another matter. Right. Uh, that uh, back on there. Like that. That in there. in there and then that is it gonna work guys what do you reckon i don't think i've got a very good joint on there if it works it works if it don't it don't Never give up. Ignore the haters. Oh, dude, a hater will never make me give up. They fuel me, if anything. <laughs> they fuel me to do even better. If I give up, it'll be because I'm not enjoying it anymore. Kevin okay, donated hundred dollars, hundred pounds. Way nice one, Guff. You are a legend. If anybody else wants to donate to my favourite charity, link to that is down below. Great Ormond Street, Hospital for Sick Kids. They do an amazing job. Give them some Wonga, give them some money. Do it! Then you can sleep easy knowing that you've helped a good cause. What is your last will testament? Uh, what, my will? I haven't done a will yet, but... Uh, Great Ormond Street, you're going to get all of it. Every single last penny, probably. But uh, it's all going to go to Great Ormond Street. If I if I ever have kids, which I'm, I'm not planning on, then, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll sort them out a little bit. But I think if someone's healthy to work for themselves, they shouldn't get handouts, you know. If someone's lazy and has no money, then they kind of deserve to have no money. So I wouldn't, if I had a lazy kid that can't be bothered to work, I wouldn't really give him anything. You have to work for everything, same as I did, and most other people have to. You have to work for stuff if you want nice stuff. If you're lazy, you don't deserve nice stuff. So that's just how it works. So I don't, I don't think it's fair to give all your inheritance to your children just because they're your children. You know, I don't think you should be rewarded for laziness. You should be rewarded for hard work and for solving problems and for helping people. Not for being lazy. I mean, what kind of rewards that? You get you get everything you want for being lazy. Nah. Not in my world. Right, let's get rid of this holding iron and then we'll see what works. Hello from Scotland. Hello dude. That's it, Dan. If you want it, earn it, you look after it more then. Absolutely, mate. I mean, I mean everyone would love to win the lottery, but the thing is, if you work hard enough for it, you can anyway. It means so much more when you've grafted, grafted for it yourself. Right, you know, some people are freeloaders. They want everything for free. They don't want to work. They don't want to lift a finger. They just want everybody to give them everything for nothing. I mean, those kind of people, they, they deserve to have nothing. And no, I don't think it's a good world where people think you get rewarded for doing nothing. All right, so that is in. We want to see if it works first, actually. So let's plug it in. Any plans on Woven? XLT450. Never heard of it, dude. But if Banggood have got it and they're willing to send it to me, then yes, I'll do it. <laughs> Tommy says, come on, blow it up. I've got stuff to get on with. Do you know what, dude? I'm surprised it's still here, to be honest. <laughs> right, we're plugging it in. Plugging that in there. And then, oh, I'm going faster, Tommy. I'm doing it especially for you. Look, you're making me rush. I won't rush for anyone. I'm rushing for you, Tom Lee. Hope you appreciate it. <laughs> it 
especially me and Tommy used to hate each other, and now we, we're good. All right, so we go in there, uh, model select, and we go LMT, son of a digger, boom. And then I've just got to go and get a lipo. Tim Butler in the house. Good evening, Kevin, he says. Evening, Tim. Kaboom, someone says. I don't think it'll go kaboom. It probably just won't work. All right, ready? You ready, guys? Ready for boom. Don't work. <laughs> oh, hold on. I plugged it in the wrong port. Hold on. I plugged it in the battery port. All right. Plug it into steering. Will it work? Will it work? Will it work? What do you reckon, guys? Is it going to work? Hey, you got Bournemouth in the house. How you doing, James? Oh, it works. Look at that. It works. Yes. All right. So that was the one that I knew was going to work because we only soldered one wire on. Now let's see. If the one that we soldered onto the board, if that one works. I'll be really surprised if it does. If it's gonna blow up, it's gonna be this one. Oh, it works! Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Yes, guys! Have we got a spare servo now? <laughs> Simple things in life, eh? What have you been up to, Bournemouth? Anything good? When are you coming out bashing with us again? Right, that is in. So that servo has got to go under there. Under there. We've got to make sure that that wire is not going to get cut off again. It must have. Hit on, it's funny because when I, when I jumped it on the grave digger, they both stopped working at the same time and somehow it cut the wires off. I don't know if the wires hit the sway bar or something, I don't know. We, we have to be careful when we route these, it doesn't happen again. Almost fixing cars and modifying the crate and super long. Hey, wicked. Really big RC pulled a Lambo, says Reese. I don't know. I mean, we'd have to try at some point. A TRX4 pulled it actually, so it should do. Ah, Tom is Tomley off, is he? Yeah, Tomley's off. See you later, dude. Sorry, there was no explosion. Dean Knight says, learning to solder solved him a lot of dosh, saved him a lot of dosh. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Right. So that is that in. That is that in. Uh, I'm going to zip tie this off of camera. I've got to do that now. I'm going to get going in a minute, actually. I'm going to have a shower to have and food to have. So, right, that's in. Get a lid back on for that. First video I've seen Kev not break anything as Dominic. <laughs> Upgraded to the 2085 X server on my X Max and it seized up after one run. Oh, is that the grey servo? If that's the grey one, I had one and it lasted me over a year. There's a mouse in your place. <laughs> no, no mice in here, mate. They wouldn't be able to get in here. There's no, there's no holes big enough for them to get in. How do you feel about the Outcast 8S? Yeah, great truck. 
I've just, I'm just about to make it absolutely epic. I've got an M2C chassis for it. And all the upgrades, I've got a big motor to go in it. That's going to be a beast. So I've got to start that build soon. So many videos coming up, but not enough time to do it all. How much was the petrol monster truck? It was about three grand, I believe. Max or Hoss, that is the most asked question. I've probably answered it already 10 times in this stream. Someone says, oh my God, Kev, you've got so much patience to keep answering the same questions. Oh, well, it's not, not that hard, is it really? But yeah. All right, so 23 tooth servo saver. Which one do we need? Yeah. Is it the 23 tooth? Or is the 23 tooth one of the Tarba one? Oh, that, that goes on perfect. All right. Have you bought RCs from Alibaba? I've bought RC parts, but not complete RC cars. Right, how does this jalopy go together? So that goes in there. And then that goes on there. Oh, look at that. That's just too easy. That's way too easy. There we go. Servo saver built. Just joining while we drive. Ah, it had a broken diff output cup on the inside. All right, that one there. Bish bash bosh. Should be a screw somewhere. It goes through the middle of that. Oh, I don't know where. There'll be one somewhere kicking around. That. You could call the monster truck Tumble Bumble. <laughs> I did think of that. It would be funny, but no. It's uh, I, I want I want the monster truck to to sound like something cool. I mean, I could. I'm probably going to put a Tumble Bumble slogan like, on the bottom of it if it does roll over. Something funny like that. Probably what happened on the back of the tailgate or something, or maybe underneath. Well, I don't. I don't think I'm going to call it like the actual truck Tumble Bumble. You know, imagine it coming into Monster Jam. And we've got Tumble Wumble coming into Arena. Yeah, it's got to sound cool. It doesn't sound that cool, does it? It's funny, though. All uh, right, sub-trim. We're going to center that to... Zero sub-of-trim. And then that can go on there. I think before we do that, though, I want to get that back on. Oh, I found your channel. It's awesome, says the banana. Hey, thanks, dude. Much appreciate it. Only this channel or my main channel? Check out your main channel if you haven't seen it, dude. Because if you like these videos, you'll probably like the, the main one even more. You might not, though. But worth checking out. Anyway, why not? Right, that one there. Tooting Talbot. That was Claire called me that. SEX 24 upgrades, please. You know what? Trill make parts for them. I'm very tempted to ask them, but Trill have just today offered to send me some axles for my Rift. Yes, guys. Yes. I like all Kev's channels. Thank you, thank you, dude. How do you solder so good? Dude, that wasn't a good solder job. That was just complete and utter luck. <laughs> that definitely was not a good solder job. Completely fluked it. Uh, oh, we need to get this wire so it's, it can't catch on something.
When's the granite video coming out, says Mohammed. Uh, I don't know yet, dude. It's all made. It's all uploaded. Ow! Ah! These zip ties suck. You're the best YouTuber. Thanks, James. But I've got a little way to go yet until we get anywhere near PewDiePie and Mr. Beast. Got a long way to go for that. I don't think it'd be possible doing RC videos. But you sold a good sometimes, better than me. Oh, sometimes, on the bigger stuff, I can do connectors. But when it comes to that small fiddly stuff, nah, not really. I mean, if it sticks, to me, if it sticks, it's good. You're better than PewDiePie. Thanks, dude. Yeah, I mean, I know, I'm, I'm going to be better than PewDiePie to some people. But the thing is on YouTube, the best person is the person who gets the most views at the end of the day. Whoever gets the most views is the best YouTuber. That's how it works. Because they say the customer is always right, but not as an individual, but as a whole, you know, as a massive, as everyone. But it means a lot though, dude. Thank you very much. If I'm your favorite YouTuber, that means the world. I'm glad I can make somebody happy. Form of views or subscribers. Views mean more, don't they, really? I mean, the thing is with subscribers, you know, for someone that started like 10 years ago, they have more subscribers. So I think it comes more down to, to the views, I think, what makes you a better YouTuber, I believe. And I think everybody's got the equal chance of making a viral video. It doesn't matter if you've got one subscriber or if you've got 100 billion subscribers. I think to get a viral video out there, if you... If you trigger the algorithm by getting a high click through rate and a high watch time, anybody can get a viral video. Evian Keller says best channel in my opinion. Really nice one, dude. Appreciate it, dude. Doing an American impression. Damn it. Dang it. Get some gas in here. <laughs> Thanks, Reese. Much appreciated. Reese has said it on his favourite as well. I'm going to make some people happy. Some people make happy, and some people we make salty. <laughs> Give a thumbs up or a thumbs down. As long as you're watching, it all helps. Put X-Max tyres on it. <laughs> That'd be a funny video, wouldn't it? Booyakasha! I'm getting X Max, what do you think? Is it a good choice? Absolutely, Gabriel, absolutely. That is, in my opinion, the best RC basher you can possibly get. It's so versatile. It's relatively fast, you can jump it high, it's easy to work on, the parts are relatively cheap, you can drive it on two wheels, it crawls over obstacles, it wheelies, you can, I mean, it does it all. Ian's still in the house. Right, let's get you off of here. And I'm going to try and not accidentally end the stream. But I'm going to stick you. Look, this is how I film RCs look. We've got a controller. I've got a selfie stick end. A lot of people always ask me what this is. Just type into Amazon or eBay, selfie stick end. It hasn't got to be these ones. Some of my controllers, not these ones. I, I like these ones here. 
But there's, there are better ones out there, but they do the job. I'll stick you in there like that. Right, you in. Oh, that sounded nasty. Oh, why are we? Oh, what's going on? What? Why? Why is that doing that? What? Why is there no drive? Oh, we have to, we're going to have to take it apart again, guys. Not in this video. We might do that in tomorrow's video. If anybody knows why well, there's no drive to that front diff here, look. Let me know. We got the pin in there, look. Oh. Game over, this is hardcore. Oh, all that work. And now I've got to open it all up again. Oh, guys. I'm so disappointed. It's not fair. <laughs> oh, all that work. Oh, they look good in there. I mean, I must have done something wrong. Inside, it looked good. I must have left a part out or something. I don't know what. I don't know what. I left something out, obviously, but I don't know what. I mean, we took it out of there and put it in that one. Maybe I forgot to put the bearing in. Do you know what, guys? I think that's what it is. I think I forgot to put that bearing in because it's still in here. Oh, and I see something broken in there as well. What's that? Oh, look at that. What's this? Is that something important or not? Hmm. All right, guys, we're going to call it it. We're going to call it it for this video. We're going to take this apart again, maybe tomorrow, see what's going on. Can't be bothered to do it now. I'm going to go home, have a shower, get some food, de-stink myself, and then we'll see you again in another video. But anyway, guys, thanks for everyone stopping by. We've still got nearly 500 people in the house. <laughs> Bournemouth says newbie mistake. Yeah, I know, dude. <laughs> but anyway, guys, Thanks very much for stepping by, and I will see all you guys very soon in another video. <laughs> Catch you later. Bye-bye.